Hi Stampers, it's Madeline from stampinwithmadeline.stampinup.net and today I'm going to do an alternative card with the paper pumpkin from this month. So this paper pumpkin was um, Season of Gratitude and it came with all these cool punched out already leaves so that you can make shaker cards, which is one of my favorite cards. And shaker cards sometimes look intimidating, but this really makes it super easy for you. All the leaves were cut out, they give you the sequins, they give you the um, foam tape that makes it so it stands up a little higher so that it can be a shaker card, gives you the ribbon, everything is cut out. So this, I really recommend Paper Pumpkin for beginner stampers because it has everything in it. So when you first become a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you get an acrylic block so that you'll be able to use um, an exclusive stamp set that comes with the Paper Pumpkin Club membership every single month. So every month you get an exclusive stamp set that no one else gets unless they're part of Paper Pumpkin. So that right there, I think, is worth the $20 that it is. But on top of that, it gives you enough stuff to make um, eight cards for this kit at least it did. So sometimes it can be 3D objects, um, sometimes it can be uh, like last month was these cool test tubes that you made into candy treats for people. Um, so just really cool because it has everything you need. So for example this month's kit came with all the envelopes, all the cards already scored and folded for you, the ribbon, the leaves cut out, the banners cut out, and again, that stamp set. And another thing that it comes with is the ink. So really, this is great because it builds up your supplies pretty quickly because you get lots of stamps, all the adhesives that you need, um, except for like snail or fast fuse, but it comes with glue dots, the foam tape. I just, I can't tell you enough how great this kit is, especially for beginners. Okay, so I did an alternative card. Um, so it is Season of Gratitude, so they're all thank you cards, but I changed it up a bit, used a few different stamp sets, um, and made a birthday card. Um, my boyfriend's uncle's birthday um, was this past weekend, and we're having a big party for him tomorrow, and I just, I wanted to come up with something different, doing an alternative card with Paper Pumpkin, but also making an awesome birthday card. Um, so the stamp sets I used were the Paper Pumpkin one. I use the Jar of Love stamp set. So this is one of my favorite stamp sets. It has 37 stamps in it. It's just unbelievable. Look how many stamps are in there. So this is one of my favorites. Um, and I've seen lots of cute shaker cards with this. So I wanted to take a stab at it. So that's one of them, Jar of Love. The other stamp set that I used for the sentiments were was um, Fresh Fruit. So this is another one of my favorites. It's 24 stamps in there. I just love how the fruit come out um, on some of the, I have done a previous card that was um, with both Jar of Love and this one uh, that were, the jars were full of fruit. So I love how these come out when they're stamped. But they have a really um, cute selection of sentiments on here as well. So this is a great set too. So both of these sets you can get right on my website. Um, the Paper Pumpkin, unfortunately, you won't be able to get until next month, which will be a brand new kit um, that I really recommend. Just try it for a month. It's not a commitment. You can do one month, and if you don't like it, you can always cancel it. But I'm telling you, it is just the best decision I think you'll make in a purchase. Uh, just a really cool way to try out different things. Okay, so let's get to this. So I did a shaker card. So I did a jar full of these acorns. The acorns came from the paper pumpkin. I did, um, it came, the paper pumpkin again comes with everything. So let me show you. These leaves were cut out for me from the paper pumpkin. These banners were cut out. Um, the acorn stamp came with it. And then the other things I used was, this was from Jar of Love. The string was from the paper pumpkin. And this sentiment was from Fresh Fruit. Okay, and then we open it. This sentiment was from Fresh Fruit. The, tr the uh, squares were from the paper pumpkin. Um, so let me show you up close what the alternative cards were, or the regular cards that they designed this for you to make. So as you can see, the leaves um, were cut out. So they don't really use the leaves that are cut out anywhere. It's just kind of scrap. So that's why I wanted to, I saved mine to see, okay, I know I can make something with these. Let me not throw them out. Um, I like to use up every little thing I have. So these were the ones that they wanted you to make with this, but it's really cool because it comes with so much stuff that you can really have um, 
whatever your, you know, imagination can come up with, you can make from these kits. So this was mine. All right, and I'm planning on doing a few more before our next kit comes, but I just love these shaker cards. So all the sequins in there, those came with the paper pumpkin as well. I just, I super love this card. I think I love every single card that I make, but <laughs> I just really love this card. Look at the colors. It's just definitely fall. Fall's my favorite season, so I just love, 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 love these colors and, of course, the shaker card. Who doesn't love a great shaker card okay so let's get started let me show you what we used there's a lot to do so let's get right into it all right so the paper pumpkin kit so you can make this card without the paper pumpkin so if you were not able to get it this month I I think you could move things around to be able to make this card there are some leaf framelits that you can get there's the vintage leaf stamp set that you can get um, so I really think it's doable if you love this card you can definitely get supplies on my website to do it all right so this came from paper pumpkin eight and a half by five and a half it was scored at 4.25 so that we can nicely close it okay next I used some cherry cobbler um, so this was three by five eighths by four and five eighths so this didn't come with the kit this was um, from my own collection so you could pick any color you want but I just really loved this with the colors um, of some of the things that came in paper pumpkin all right and then you'll want a scrap of whisper white that you will be able to do your jar stamps on Okay, and then things that came in the paper pumpkin that I'll be using. Of course, these leaves that were already cut out for us. The squares for the inside. Our banner. Here are more squares. Then we're going to do two banners. So one's going to be on the outside um, for underneath, and one's going to be on the inside. Then they came with these window panes. So you can get these on my website as well, but these came in that paper pumpkin. I mean, just look at how much stuff came in that paper pumpkin for $19.99. It is a great deal. Shipping is included, so definitely get on board and check it out on my website. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I used some adhesive to um, get down this cherry cobbler. So let's do that first. All right, so I leave this, I don't put it in the center. Um, I put it all the way to the edge center it with that line then flatten it out okay next we're going to color in these leaves so I used my brights markers so I just love stamping up markers they have um, every ink pad that they have it has a marker that goes with it so these are the stamp set um, of bright so this is the brights collection markers so I got the stamp set I got the paper and I got the markers that way everything can match as I do my projects so we're going to be using real red and tangerine tango to do these leaves so we're gonna color them in so what I'm gonna do is two, do two in tangerine tango and then do one in real red so let's use a thick side of our markers these come with two different sides one is thin and one is thick we're gonna be using a thin so let's go ahead and color these on these you might want to run your marker along the edges just so that the white doesn't poke through on the sides when you put it down on your card. So let's get our whisper white out. All right, so our whisper white. Now we want to do our jars. So we're going to be doing one jar. So this is from that jar of love set. These are the things we're going to be using. The top, the little metal holder, and the big jar. Let's get our block out first. Okay, and I'm going to be doing the jar in basic black. So you just want to tap, tap, tap on this. Make sure the whole jar is getting fully inked. Okay, then you want to use a piercing pad. So I've talked about this in my previous videos. Um, like a wood block has a foam in between the wood block and the stamp. With these, they only have the block, they only have the rubber stamp. So we need to add that foam into the equation. So this will make it so you'll get a clean image and let me tell you it makes a huge difference push it down for three seconds lift up there we are okay so clean off your stamp the black will stain but you want to get all that ink off um, as soon as you can so it doesn't stain more 
Okay, now we're going to do the lid. Now the lid is a smaller one, so let me get my smaller block out. We'll do this in basic black as well. Okay, let's put it here. We're going to be using the Big Shot and the Everyday Jars Framelit set. So we want to space these out so that we can just put it through the Big Shot in one, um, one trip. All right, and now let's do the handle. So these will all be in basic black. So you're just tap, tap, tapping on your ink pad, and then you're placing on here and holding for three seconds and lifting up. So cute. All right, so clean off your stamp, and now we're getting to the part where we're going to cut these out. So let me show you. These are the framelits, Everyday Jar Framelit Set. Now let me tell you, when you buy the Everyday Jar Stamp Set, and you buy this with it, you get 10% off on the total cost. And let me tell you, it is definitely worth it. There are 37 stamps in there, and it is so easy just to put the framelits on top, put it through the big shot, and be done with it. Um, fussy cutting them can end up being a pain. So let's, let me show you. Look how many are in here. So if you don't have a big shot, it's a die cutting machine. So these have, um, not they're not sharp, but... Um, they make it so when you put it through the Big Shot, they cut. It's a die cutting tool. So we're gonna line these up. Let's get our lid out. Now, I use post-it notes because as you put this through, you may have trouble with it staying where you want it. Um, so I use post-it notes. There is a magnetic platform you can get, but I like using the post-its better because it really helps to stay all in one position. So what you would do, let me get the post-its. What you'll do is you'll take your post-it and you just put it over the entire thing. It's not going to hurt anything that it's doing. And you just make sure it's stuck on to the paper and the framelit. And this will save you quite a headache because, let me tell you, they do move around. Especially if you're cutting like on multiple layers, like on my previous card, the spinner card, it is really important to have something holding down these framelits because they move a lot. All right, so also one more thing I forgot is that we'll need the inside of that jar to be cut out as well because that is how you make the shaker card. So let's put this in as well. So especially when it's a two-step cut like this, you really want them all to stay in the same place. So put the post-it down, press it all the way around, even in the creases between them so that it'll stay. Okay, I'm going to bring it over to my big shot. I'm going to roll it through and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So let's take off these post-it notes and you'll see that this comes right out. Look how easy that is. I didn't have the framelits for a while and let me tell you, I absolutely love them and would recommend them for anyone to get. So this one um, is a little tough to get out because it gets right in there, it's a little piece, but you can just play with it and try to fool it to get out, okay. So now we have all of our pieces. We'll put this away. We'll put our framelits away. These are some small pieces, so I would take the time to put them away so you don't lose any of them. It's very easy to lose a part of them, believe me. Okay, so now we have our jar, and this is really neat because it'll look so cool when it's put together. So as you can see, it didn't really stamp as clear up there. I must have not fully inked it, so that's gonna be covering it anyway, so we'll be okay. So now we're going to fill this up with those acorns that I talked about. So this is part of the paper pumpkin set, but you could do anything in here. You could do balloons or like I did the fruit in the other one. You could fill up this jar with whatever you wanted. Um, cookies, anything. I've seen some people do cute M&Ms. Um, so let's do the acorn. So we're gonna do this in chocolate chip. So we're gonna tap tap with this acorn. So I'm gonna do some of them off the page. So I'm gonna get out a scrap piece of paper so I can do them all over the place. You want it to look like it's really full. You could do some um, stamping off techniques so that it would be like in the background, maybe behind those.
Ew. Add that to our card. So clean off your stamp. Okay. There we are. Put our excess away. All right, now let's get our card back out. We can put this away for now. Get this back out. Okay, now you want to center this where you want it on here so that everything will fit. So what I do is I pretend like I'm gluing it down um, and I put all the components on just so we can see where we should glue the acorn. So all we're gluing down right now, the only thing you wanna glue down right now is the acorns. You do not wanna glue down the jar. That's gonna be in our next steps. So let's just, it's hard when it's not glued down, it's hard to keep it in the same place, but just do like a guesstimate. Okay, I think it'll fit. All right, so we're going to do our acorns just a little bit from the bottom, okay? So you wanna put some adhesive on it. Okay, we're gonna place it right here. Make sure it's all the way down. Okay, so now comes really fun sequins. I just love these. So these came in the paper pumpkin as well. Three different sizes, really fun. So what we do is we just take out a few. It depends on you. It depends on how many you want to be in your shaker card. I put a decent amount um, just so that if some of them get stuck around the outside um, foam tape, you're still, you know, having a cool action card. All right, so there's a bunch of big ones. Now I'm gonna add some small ones. And then I'll add some middle ones. So you're just laying these out in the acorns. You want them all to stay right in the center like that. One more. These are the middle sized. All right, so center them all in the center. You'll find sequins for days around the carpet. <laughs> okay, now you're going to want to add the window pane to your jar. So let me show you how you do this. So you want to cut it down um, to about the size of the jar. So I have it about to the size. You'll have to, of course, do some excess cutting uh, fussy cutting around it, but let's glue that down. So these have some very small edges, so you can do whatever kind of adhesive you want. You could do a little bit of glue if you wanted to, um, but I can kind of work my adhesive gun um, to do it. But these are very thin pieces of paper for this jar, so you want to be extra careful that you're not ripping it as you go. If you just go full throttle like I did <laughs> in practice, uh, the jar will rip. All right, so now we're gonna place this. You want the bottom all the way on, make sure the sides are in. Okay, and place down. And you can kind of rub away any of the adhesive if you use an adhesive gun like I do. And it'll come right off. Okay. Now, you want to fussy cut around these edges so that none of the window pane is showing outside of the jar. You also wanna make sure, this can actually be sharp at points if you don't um, cut it the right way, so just be careful of that, especially if it's like a child's birthday card or something, you don't want them to cut themselves um, on the card. So just fussy cut around it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so all set, so now it's like a little jar window. Okay, now this was in the paper pumpkin kit as well, but you can get this on my website. So this is the um, foam tape that makes it so that it, um, it's like Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, it makes it so that the jar will stick up and this is how this kind of shaker card works. So what we're going to do is we're going to mold this around the edge of this jar. So I'm gonna start up here and you can really, it's very pliable. So you're able to move it around the way that you want it. You want it to be all around the edges because what happens is this is what keeps your sequins um, inside of the card and what makes it an actual shaker card so you want to make sure people won't be able to see it outside you know so when they look at it, you don't want to be able to see the foam tape so you want to keep it in the white area here of the paper so I just used one full one I'm gonna take another one and we're gonna start right back up where you ended off and you want to make sure that it touches all the way because again you don't want those sequins falling out through a little hole 
All right, and then we're gonna end it right there. You can cut it. Make sure you have enough to kind of close it off so that the sequins don't come off. And like I said, it's very easy to move around. It's um, very pliable. So you can put your excess back. <laughs> you can see my giraffes. I'm obsessed with giraffes, I love them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. So this is like the Stampin' Dimensionals. It has two layers. So we're gonna take off the paper layer and it's gonna be very sticky, okay? Now, we're going to place it over the sequence, and what's gonna happen is the sequence might pop to this. So you wanna do it slowly so that you get it lined up. Okay. But as you can see, some of the sequins did pop up, and that's okay. Just keep moving. There are some extra stickies on here that I want to get off. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do this next. We want this to be first. So all you have to do is put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom part because that's the only part that needs to be stuck down. And I put it near the bottom of the mouth of the jar, right about here. Okay, and then this is going to go next. So put a little bit of adhesive and set this down where the mouth of the jar is. Just want to center it. Perfect. Look how cute that is. All right, so our shaker card is coming to life. All right, so next we're going to do our gluing down of the leaves and the banner. So our banner is going to go like this, and we're going to have um, another banner that's a different shape, and that's going to be on Stampin' Dimensionals, so it kind of pops out at us. So that's gonna be like that with some Stampin' Dimensionals, and then we're gonna um, glue on our leaves. So these, I kinda like to have on the edge here, and you can cut off the parts that um, hang over, that's fine makes it look um, more realistic. Okay, all right, so that looks great. All right, so let's, um, let's tape down these leaves. So just put a little bit of adhesive, they don't need much, and kind of get these going. I'm gonna do orange, red, orange, so that it's a pattern. You could do these in any color that you want totally up to you. I just love that I was able to use the scraps from the paper pumpkin to actually make something as beautiful as this. All right, now we're going to tape this down. So put the banner down. Decide where you want it. All right, now we're going to stamp our sentiment on this. So this sentiment is going to be from the fresh fruit, and I love this quote. It says, we age not by years, but by stories. And I thought this was perfect for our uncle that is just a great guy. All right, so we're going to do um, basic black. We're gonna tap, tap, tap again. Make sure the whole sentiment gets fully inked. You wanna center it on here, and you're going to stamp down. Three seconds, there we go, look how cute that is. Okay, so wipe off your stamp and put it away, okay? Now, we're gonna let that dry and put it right on our banner. Oh, so this actually, we're going to do Stampin' Dimensional, so let me get those out, because that's what we want. So this adhesive I like, because I can just use my finger and pull it right up if I don't set it down on paper. It will rip paper if I set it down, but before it's set down, I am able to get it up. Okay, so let's use some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to use two on top of each other because the foam tape is pretty thick. Um, so I want this to kind of be higher than that. So we're gonna center it on here, place it down. There we go, look how cute. Oh, it's just super cute. Okay, so now we're going to cut off this excess of the leaves. And there we are, friends, look at that. Super, super cute. 
and pretty easy with all the supplies that we have. Okay, now we're going to do the inside. So you could do um, some more colored paper here if you wanted, but I kept it simple in here. So we're going to do these squares, but we're going to turn them into diamonds. So put just a little bit of adhesive on it, just in case you have to change it. And we're gonna start putting these down. So I'm gonna do red, orange, red. They're, they're actually a little bit like dark orange, light orange. I'm gonna place them down overlapping a little bit. I think it creates a cool pattern. And then we're gonna use one of our banners again. Okay. So now I'm gonna use this banner to do a happy birthday stamp. And that is from the Fresh Fruit as well. So I'm gonna put this happy birthday onto my block. I'm going to do um, basic black again. So just make sure the whole sentiment gets stamped nicely with the black. You're gonna center it on here and then press down for three seconds. There we are. Okay, wipe off, put it away. All right, and that is it for stamping. So now we're going to put some adhesive on this. Lay it in the middle. There we are. Isn't that so pretty? So I just love this card because you could really use it for a guy or a girl. Um, it has some great sentiments and it uses such a wide range of the stamp sets that you could really make it your own with any set that you want. You could have used, um, right here, you could have used the leaves from the paper pumpkin, the cutout ones that have the holes and make a shaker card with that if you didn't have the jars. Let me show you what I mean. So with the leaves cut out, this is what it looks like. So you could have um, cut this out and done it here or cut out the individual leaves and glued them down and made shaker cards. Um, so there's really, it's a very versatile card that you can make. So here is the front again. And then you open it and it has that happy birthday sentiment. Oh, I just love it. Okay, I just wanna take a second to thank my viewers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my video and giving me a thumbs up and giving me feedback and comments. You're really making my day every day. Um, I'm just loving what I'm doing. I love these videos. I love that I can help you and teach you how to make these cards and I just love our conversations that follow after that. So this is our happy birthday card that used the paper pumpkin set, the jar of love um, photopolymer stamp set, and the fresh fruit photopolymer stamp set. Um, so again, Paper Pumpkin, 1999, right on my website, monthly subscription. You could buy a few months at a time. You could try it out for one month and no commitment. So if you don't like it after one month or two months, it's not a yearly commitment. You just buy by the month. So you can always cancel it if you're unhappy. So um, please take a moment to go to my website and check it out. Um, it's really an amazing deal um, that I don't think you'll regret buying. Uh, so my website again is stampinwithmadeline.stampinup.net and all the products that we use today except for this month's paper pumpkin which has passed uh, will be on there and I'll put it in the uh, description below with the stamp sets that we used, the color I used um, and things like that and also my website again. So please uh, subscribe to my videos. I'm planning on doing three a week. Um, I'm aiming for Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but it'll be about three a week. Not sure exactly on the days. Uh, and also I have a swap uh, that's actually the sign up is ending tonight. I have a good group, but I'm planning on doing it a few times a year. So anyone that's interested in that, please let me know in the comments. I'm also starting a stamp 10 group uh, that is going to be long distance as well because I have a few friends that live out of state that wanted to join. Um, so if you are interested in be becoming a part of that club with me, um, I would put up YouTubes only for club members uh, that I would teach you how to make the card, I'd send you all the materials, you'd be able to make it, and you would get to use, um, you have to buy at least $15 worth of supplies, um, but of things you want off of my website. So I would send you all the materials already set up, you'd put it together by watching my videos only for you, and you'd get to buy your own supplies that you want. So I think it's a really great deal, and if anyone's interested, please um, reach out to me. So thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, thank you again, really. I really appreciate all of you. So keep stamping, stampers.